What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today. This video is going to be explaining a lot to some of you. Actually, it should be explaining a lot to all of you because I don't think anybody really knows the true story here. And so what we're talking about is what really happened to Lucky. Now, if you don't know, I had a dog, got her about two years ago in the summer. Her name was Lucky. At the time, she was a young, feist breed pup. I want to show y'all the new addition to the team. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Her name's Lucky. She's still a pup, though. And I was supposed to turn her into a squirrel dog by training her. And so that's what I started doing. I started training her, made a ton of videos with her early in the, when, you know, in her stage and through her whole life, I guess. So just real quick, I'm going to show y'all how it works. Hey, leave me alone for a second. I just kept training her, training her, training her. Using all these different tactics, I got a squirrel tail on the end of the fishing pole and drug it. She was like, oh, oh, oh. It was crazy, guys. Should have been there. Bark, Lucky. Lucky, bark. L bark, Lucky. Bark. Bark, 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 bark. Bark at it, Lucky. Bark, bark at it. And to be completely honest, a lot of you guys were there. A lot of you guys were there through the entire process. But, uh, now... See that cage over there? That's where Lucky used to live. She ain't there no more. But right here, right now, I'm gonna tell you exactly why. And you guys watched it happen. We trained her hard. We were getting her condition trained. We were using squirrel scent, getting her nose acclimated to what squirrel sounds like. And after all those time, after all that time we spent training Lucky, I'm glad to say that she has committed and she is joining the NBA draft for 2019. I know, I know, I know. Probably going late second round, but listen, guys, it's a dog in the NBA. What else do you want? She's thinking registered for the draft. The Lakers. It's the Lakers. Projected-wise. I mean, we're not sure right now. It's just a mock draft. We're projected to go to the Lakers. Oh, yeah, and by the way, she's not mine anymore. She has a manager now. He's kind of cool, though. She ditched me. What a dog. I mean, the good news is that we can still actually go visit her. Like, she's in L.A. right now, just getting some warm-ups, getting some laps in on the other side of the United States. It's all good. She's got a huge dog house. She's got, like, I don't know, squirrels, like, all over the place. I don't know, but she's doing good. She's doing work. Ball is Life West actually came and made a montage of her, but, you know, it got demonetized, so they just took it down. Now, guys, I just want to let you know, I'm not some kind of genetic dog biologist or anything. I'm just going to do what they done in The Lion King and hope for the best. Now are you guys ready for the true story? If you believe that, hopefully you did, because it's true. It wasn't the true story, but let me actually get in and tell you what's happening. Okay, so let me, let's walk over to the cage and Peanut can tell you something too. Peanut will vouch for me. All right, Peanut, come on out here. We gotta tell him what Lucky was doing, why she's gone. I just wanna start this off by saying Lucky is not dead, if that's what you're wondering. Okay, Kendall, no more beating around the bush. Hurry up and just stink and tell the story. All righty, listen up. So I had Lucky for about two years, right? I, I, you know, I played with her and everything, trained her and everything. Bottom line, the dog did not like me at all, okay? She did not care what I thought. I tried everything. Positive reinforcement? Pfft, that was a stinking joke. Hey, Lucky, come here. I got a treat for you. She turned around and looked at me. And then she just takes off, sprinting in another direction. <coughs> Why? Why? What kind of dog wants to refuse bacon strips? Can you tell me a dog that does that? I give her a squirrel tail to play with it. She grabs it, runs about a mile away, buries it, comes back and looks at me like nothing ever happened. Oh yeah, and let me tell you this story with Lucky. So, you know, a lot of y'all know this. A lot of y'all really do know this. I got one of the dog mounts for the GoPro, and so I put a GoPro on her back. She lost it. I actually found it in a few videos ago. It was crazy, too. I've still not reviewed the footage, but I would really never turned on the GoPro. So there is no footage. Okay, Lucky, let's go. Okay. All right, Lucky, let's get suited up. Come here. 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 Here
Here. I just pulled by a collar. What? She got peanut. Don't you want to come? Oh! <laughs> just cooperate here with me, and we will get all this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good girl. Good job, Lucky. It's yeah. bad I thought. Good job. We're just going to get your armor on here, and you should be able to go bulletproof for days. Lucky is, is it, now part of the USS high? Kindle Gray. Okay. All right, we got a little bit of work. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I did not expect Lucky to cooperate this good. But ain't that just a bummer. I've still not even told you what happened to Lucky. So at this point, me and Lucky had been together for about two years, and she did not care what I thought, and so being the human I am, I started to not care what she thought either. I mean, yeah, I got Peanut. He doesn't do anything, but at least he comes to me whenever I call him over here instead of going and rolling in a dead deer's body. Like, come on, dog. I know I've said this like eight times, but she really did not care anything about me at all. It was really sad. And now on to the next question. Where is Lucky? Okay, I'm going to break it down right now. Lucky was a hunting dog. She was perfectly bred. Her mom and dad were great hunters. And then I got Lucky, and it was my job to train her. I am the worst dog trainer that has ever walked on the planet. Listen, guys, I couldn't even train a dog to eat. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I don't connect with them or something. Or maybe it's just hunting dogs. I don't know, but I can't train a dog. I'm sorry. I've tried like three times. Can't do it. Not once have I even got close. But anyways, with me knowing the true potential that Lucky had and like extremely well-bred and everything, I decided to give her to an actual dog trainer, Uncle's Preacher. And so that's what I've done with Lucky. I gave Lucky to him. And don't worry, guys. We can always go see Lucky at any time. And she's actually been gone about five months, and she said she's already trained squirrels. Yeah, I'm not a good dog trainer, guys. I spent two years, ain't treated a squirrel. He spends about a month with her, and she's already got her train. I don't know what to say. But long story short, I gave Lucky away to a man who knew he could take Lucky to the next level. As he did. Now, on to the next objective. If you look here behind me, you will see a bunch of big gray clouds. That means the storm's rolling in, a storm. And what happens when storm rolls in? Fish like to bite. So we're gonna throw us on a spinnerbait or something. Wrap up the fishing fanny pack, and we're about to hit down on the water and see if we can catch some bass. We might, we might not, but I can tell you, we're about to try, that's for sure. The spirit of Lucky is with us. Not really. And so here we are, guys. We're at the pond. We have a little spinner bay here. Just in case that doesn't work, I brought the fishing fanny pack, the KG fishing fanny pack. The main thing I love about a fanny pack is how truly small it is and how it just fits on your waist. The biggest thing, in my opinion, with a fanny pack is if you're just coming out here to this like, little pond, I'm just coming out here planting the fish for maybe 30 minutes, probably less. I don't want to bring my whole tackle box, but I obviously want to bring enough baits just in case they don't want the spinner bait. And so easy fix for that. I have my fishing fanny pack. I've already got worms in there. Got to think a jig and maybe a crab. Bait. Just the basics and nothing more. That way, if I'm ever out here, got about 20 minutes, I don't have to go through all my fishing stuff. I can just grab my fanny pack, strap it on my body, and we're good to go. And without further ado, boys, I'm gonna go ahead, turn on the GoPro here, and we're gonna start fishing over here. The wind's blowing a little bit, which is pretty good sign at this point. It's also a little bit cold, so if we don't catch anything, that could be the reason why. It's still pretty early in February. And so here we go. Let me show you the spinner bait I'm using. This, I think, may be the first time I'm fishing this year. Well, no, I guess I fished a little bit more. But here's what we're using. Standard little spinner bait. Got one Colorado and I think maybe an Indiana or another Colorado. Little chartreuse and white, 3 8 ounce. Should be perfect for what we're trying to do today. I really like 3 8 ounce because I can cast it perfectly with this rod. I don't know what it is about it, but this rod, it's 7 foot long, medium heavy. I can... I think 15 pound line on it, fluorocarbon. I can cast a 3 8 sound spinnerbait wherever in the world I want with extreme accuracy and precision. This was originally supposed to be my jig rod, but you know, I basically started throwing spinnerbaits on it because I like it so much more for this. And if you're wondering why I chose these particular blades and the color, the water's not extremely clear like you guys can look at. I'm using the bigger blades to give a little bit more thump and the chartreuse color so that they can see it from farther away. I'm just hoping to snag a few that's wanting to get an early bite before the big rain comes. I mean, it's going to be a rain. Wait, it's it's actually supposed to snow, so it may come a blizzard. They better eat while they got the chance. Because I can tell you right now, I ain't going to be throwing this spinnerbait whenever it's three inches of snow outside. If it was summertime right now, I'd done caught about two or three with this wind blowing on this one side. This right here, right before storm, perfect conditions. The only problem is, like, I think the time of the year. And like I said, it is still early February. At the time of the recording, I'm probably posting this in March, I don't know. At least we're getting out here, getting some experience and learning how to cast a rod. Because I will tell you, I just about forgot. Come on, big one. Now regardless to whether we caught fish or not, 
Right now, it's time for the verse of the week. Now, this week's verse of the week is coming out of Philippians 4. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Now, in this case, what gentleness mean? I actually looked this up. From the very original transcript as to where, like, they translated it into English, gentleness means, like, in a way, your maturity and, like, your calmness and, like, the overall way you hold yourself. As the verse says, let it be evident to all. Because what that does is whenever they see you acting like a grown-up in a way and not getting mad easily and stuff, what you're actually doing is spreading Jesus with without even saying a word, because you're leading by example. When they see you act like that, that makes them want to act like that, because you're cool, you know? But anyways, Greg, if you care about what well, Lucky, go right, have a good, happy new year, Lucky, or something like that in the comments. Also, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking into a fishing fanny pack, maybe you want more information on it, feel free to head on over to kindlegrade1.com shop, or first link in the description, go check it out. And anyways, Grey Gang, I'll see you Monday. Thanks for watching this video of Kendall Gray. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, tell all your friends about it. KendallGray1.com slash shop. You can buy yourself another one of these shirts. Thanks for watching. Bye.